Although this winter hasn't been a predictable one, the town of Normal is ready for whatever snow falls their way. For TV 10 News, I'm Ashley Shannon. Bloomington Normal community members say the next step is to call on our elected officials to stand up for those without a voice by acting local and being vocal. For TV 10, I'm Ashley Shannon. Although students may not enjoy group projects, they have been able to avoid face-to-face -face communication by making technology their final group member. This has been Ashley Shannon for TV 10 News. President Trump never ceases to surprise us, and that has everyone questioning, what's next? For TV 10 News, I'm Ashley Shannon. Stigma is an obstacle separating our communities, and in order to bring them back together, we must educate ourselves, get involved, and get treated. For TV 10 News, I'm Ashley Shannon. I wanted to show just how easy it is to use the live stream feature. All you do is log in, press live, and go live. The natural hair debate still isn't over. However, Maybe this story has less to do with the way political commentator Bill O'Reilly thinks, but more to do with the way black women are still seen in the workforce. For TV 10 News, I'm Ashley Shannon. John says this is a story of hope. It is a story of learning from our successes, and it is the story of remembering the number 13. They are not just teaching about the fallen soldier, but they are also teaching what it means to be patriotic. For TV 10 News, I'm Ashley Shannon. Hip hip! Let's just see how many potholes we can find downtown Bloomington. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, you get the point. All right, and like every Tuesday, we have Tamika Tracy here in the studio to give us a weather update. Tamika. It's looking pretty ugly out there. Yeah, and it's only going to get worse. TV 10's Ashley Shannon is live in the studio with more. Ashley? Ladies, have you ever noticed shaky driving during your daily commute? Well, you may have noticed a pothole in your way. Many streets caught a case of them this year. Bud Center Street and Clinton are two streets you won't have to worry about in the near future. Let's take a look. You know, Maddie, that's actually a little bit scary knowing your information is out there for anyone to use. I know, and like when you delete things, they're still there. Like, I feel like I've deleted all the old statuses I posted in like 2009, and it's like they're still out there okay, so somewhere. I guess all you can do is turn off that information like they said. Exactly. With this being our fifth episode, we really wanted to spice things up for y'all. And of course, we have to give a shout out to our live studio audience and everyone watching at home that helped us plan this episode. Josh <laughs> we give each other that whole idea like the light scale person's supposed to be dark, bad yeah. and bougie, ain't mm -hmm. supposed to text back on time, which some I of y'all don't, but Josh, I don't text That's because text nobody okay, texts Josh, yes. and so he texts back fast, <laughs> text because back he only get one text a day. Yeah. All right, what's happening, everyone? Welcome back to the show. Right now, we're sitting down with one of ISU's very own Victoria Jones. I was picking them out from day one, and then I kept saying, Ashley, you can do this, you can find somebody, and I was rushing my love life, okay. and it's not something you should rush. Yeah. I used to fill in my eyebrows with the black eyeshadow from freshman year because I wanted them to stand out at parties. <laughs> but that's all for watching What's, What's Happening? happening? Illinois State University has many interesting people and leaders that walk this campus. One student sticks out among the rest. Ashley's. Ashley's. Ashley. First and foremost, Ashley Shannon is a powerful African American woman. She stands for change, and a lot of the change that she pushed for, she started off. Yeah, so uh, Ashley is one of the most fun people I've ever worked with. Uh, I had the privilege of working with her in the Emerging Leaders program this past year, and the way she worked with the, uh, the freshmen and the mentors and the coordinators was just beyond belief. She was a great uh, leader and just had a lot of fun with it. Ashley is definitely um, a natural born leader. I've had several people come to me already and say, uh, you know, I want to do that. I want to do what Ashley's doing. And I'm like, well, you're probably not Ashley, but I can see that it's appealing and I can see that she's again kind of lighting the path, taking on a challenge, and that people want to do that. And that's an awesome thing. 